On the mosque monument relates to the coming in of slave trade, Islamic and Islam's culture in Malawi. The place was founded by Jumbe. Uh, Ibn, I think it's Ibn bin Abdullah. Jaguri, Swahili uh, Arab uh, uh, from Zanzibar who settled in Kota Kota in the 18, 18 something. Mm -hmm. um, when he arrived in Kota Kota, he was welcomed by Malenga Chanzi. Should be. Oh, by Malenga Chanzi. He traded, traded in ivory Iguana. in exchange. I think of, in exchange of beads, cloth, and gunpowder. Yes. He deposed yes. Chewa and named himself ruler of Mkota Kota. Yes. Four dynasties of Jumbe's ruled Mkota Kota, and the, the last, last Jumbe who succeeded to throne Good. in. Yeah. who succeeded to throne in 1894 but was deposed and banished by the British, British colonial, colonial government, government who wanted to stop slave trade to Zanzibar in, in 1895. 1895. Yeah. This, so the last Jumbe, the Arab, who was ruling in this area was buried here. Guys, listen, the Bondo Mosque is not that one. That's just the signage. It is this one, the first mosque in Malawi. So the, this is the one that was being the mosque that was being used by the Jumbes. Yes, yeah. And they are the ones who brought Islam also yes, to yes, Malawi yes, yeah. in 18 something. Yeah. And it wasn't ah. maintained. This is the wall, the original one. Oh. It's not reconstructed. No, the original pillars, the original bricks. That's how it was. And it means it was a big one, eh? So 